So today, we're gonna talk about what I believe are the top undervalued platform with all three under 100 million market cap. If you look at the top 25, you can see that platforms actually have a pretty big stronghold on that space with almost every single coin having a market cap of over $1 billion, meaning these have some huge potential. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to CryptoPix. Before I begin, let me say thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. If you haven't subscribed yet, smash that button below. Also, smash that like button. Let's get started. So before we begin, let me tell you how we're going to do this. We have three coins we're going to talk about. I'm going to tell you what the coin is, just a brief summary. Then I'm going to tell you why I like it, what I don't like about the coin, and then what I believe its investment potential is. So the first coin I have for you today is Aeon. Aeon is a next-gen network that will pass logic and value among participating blockchains as freely as liquid assets where every transaction occurs without centralized intermediaries. It is designed to work and communicate with other blockchains, enhancing the usefulness of blockchains as a whole, while having the ability to manage its own robust applications. Essentially, it connects blockchains similar to Arc, and they have their own apps on the platform. So why do I like Aeon? First, they have entered the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, which has advisors such as Vitalik and Alex Tapscott. They're also creating their own algorithm for verification, which is a combo of proof of stake and proof of intelligence, removing some inefficiencies from existing platforms. And then finally, the potential to connect blockchains and allow them to communicate is definitely needed for the future of blockchain. So what I don't like about Aeon. First, they have some big competition, but this is gonna be pretty familiar with each coin. They have ARC, Wanchain, EOS, and just a variety of huge coins. Also, they're not on any exchanges yet, except for Ether Delta and one other, which has no volume. Ether Delta right now is so hard to buy. The Ethereum network is still clogged and it is just super irritating. Either way, right now they are on no good exchanges, at least in my opinion. Then finally, Aeon is planning to connect Ethereum blockchains and not other major blockchains, which is, my opinion, a huge downfall because there are other competitors such as Arc that are wanting to do all major blockchains. So what about their investment potential? Right now, Aeon's market cap is around $100 million, about $2 per coin. I personally believe they could easily hit $1 billion and who knows, maybe much more depending on how successful they are. But at 1 billion market cap, that would equal $20 per coin and you're looking at about 10 times return from your investment. So my next coin and one of my most favorite platforms is Neblio. Neblio have their own blockchain that will offer enterprise blockchain solutions. It's a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network of nodes that exchange information in the form of transactions, storing those transactions in an immutable distributed ledger. So why do I like Neblio? First, they have a super duper low market cap of around 50 million, which is super low for a platform. One of the most important ones, the RESTful API for interacting with the Neblio network. They're gonna have many of the most popular programming languages, such as Python, Go, JavaScript, Ruby, .NET, Java, and then Node. This is what makes them stand out from the rest of the platforms. They also have a working wallet that has stakes at 10% per year. They have a tiny circulating and total supply of about 13 million coins. And then finally, they're still under the radar, mostly because of the exchange they're on, which is Cryptopia. The volume is absolutely nothing compared to Binance and Bitrix. And I believe once Neblio is able to get on one of those, the coin should rock it. Now, what don't I like about Neblio? They have a lack of marketing, but this should change in Q2 of 2018, according to their roadmap. Like I said earlier, they're on some bad exchanges. Cryptopia is their main one, which shows no love to anybody that is serious in investing. And then finally, their team 
is super small, at least what they show on their website. They definitely need to work on this and hopefully they already are. They just haven't filled in the rest of the community on their website. If they can fix that, this one has some huge potential. Now, what do I think Neblio's investment potential is? Right now, it's $50 million market cap, $4 per token. If this hits 1 billion market cap, which I personally believe it should pass that and go much further, especially with more money coming into this space, $1 billion would be 20 times your investment, $80 per token. Meaning if you invest $1,000 today and it hits 1 billion market cap, that would be $20,000, which is totally feasible by the end of 2018, if not much earlier. Now for one of my favorite and final coin, WANChain. WANChain implements cross-chain transfer of assets by setting up connections between accounts of different blockchains and providing a framework for financial applications based on digital currency and digital asset. It also is a blockchain that operates independently. WANChain will provide services such as exchange of cryptos, where users can transact across multiple token exchanges, loans of cryptocurrencies where users can lend and loan cryptocurrencies in a decentralized way. They will offer a variety of investment options with cross-chain transactions. And then finally, cryptocurrency crowdfunding. ICOs can accept multiple cryptocurrencies. So why do I like WANChain? First, they have one of the best teams I've ever covered on any coin, if not the best. Their coins won't be released until their main net is ready, so they will have a working product. They have a super ambitious project that could have a huge impact on the financial blockchain sector if successful, could be a top 10 coin in the market. I 100% believe this. And then finally, they also have proof of stake. What don't I like about WanChain? First, again, it's a super competitive space. We got Ethereum, Ripple, all the other platforms, Omisigo, Bankera, and just so many more huge projects out there and then there's actually a few team members that you can't find any information on mostly because they're from china and it's already super hard to find any information from anyone from china outside of that i couldn't really find too much of a negative now what about wanchain's investment potential so many people believe that this coin can make top 10 if successful so let me give you two scenarios if it hits 1 billion dollars and then if it hits top 10 if WANChain hits $1 billion, and let's just say from a 100 million market cap, which that's kind of what I'm expecting from ICO, and plus that would be about three times ICO, we're looking at 10 times gain. If it gets cheaper, then the multiplier is just increasing. Now, if WANChain is able to hit top 10, like many people do believe, if successful, that would be over $5 billion market cap right now. Meaning if you're in the ICO, that would be over 150 times your investment and one and 50 times your investment from 100 million market cap. So the gains are definitely possible. And that's my video on my top three platforms under 100 million market cap. Let me know what you think. Type in the comments. Give me some other platforms that you think might be worth looking at that are cheap under 100 or even close to 100 million. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.